Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Peace and blessings to the hope for members of the elect. My name is Colonel Walk. This is just a quick lesson. Uh, uh, interview I was watching. You know, I was uh, I always grew up uh, watching. Uh, you know, like Mr. T's uh, movies and certain of his, certain of his music videos when I was young. You know, um, you know, I was born in the late late eighties, so I grew up, you know, uh, knowing about Mr. T, man. You know, and um, you know, they're Rubenites. You know, um, I'm not gonna play. It. I'm not gonna play. It. Uh, I share the link in the description box, but um, it shows you that. Um, you know everything. Uh, you know um, our sp our spirit bear witness. You know, um, so a lot of the brothers over there in Chicago and you know a lot of the Rubenites and Gad. You know um, they're very dark. You know, and um, let's get that scripture. It says my heritage unto me is as a speckled bird, right? Cause it's not a black or white thing it's a lineage a lineage thing that goes to your father right here right and it's going to be a sh uh, quick lesson heritage it's luck, yeah? Yeah, Jeremiah 12, Jeremiah 12 and 9, my heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are gathered against her, right? Call me, assemble ye, all the beasts of the field come to the bar. All right, so we're a speckled bird like a pigeon. You know, I believe um, the Ojibwe. The Ojibwe people, they, uh, I think it means uh, wild. I'm gonna get the etymology of it. Ojibwe. Ojibwe. I believe it means wild pigeons or something. Honestly, you know, these are a lot of the Rubenites up there. You know, leaving uh, Yes, the Mimico, right? Yeah, uh, that's here in uh, Toronto, right? Uh, Mimico, wild pigeons, right? You know, know that song. I don't want no pigeons, you know, but uh, you know, pigeons, you know, you know. So Ojibwe, you know that word, or uh, Mim Mimico means pigeons. You know, wild pigeons. You know, so uh, you know, you might see uh, pigeons, you know, that have uh, like the black and white, or you might see a white pig a pigeon, you know. So, my her heritage unto me is a speckled bird, the birds round about her are, are against her. Call me assembly of the beasts of the field, all right. And yeah, these like these nations, you know, they have took crafty counsel against our people, man. And um, they're coming to Canada, America. They're getting all the resources, 
you know these uh, nations they come they give them uh, you know loans everything or not even thing like they you know like they give them lands you know homes vehicles you know and uh, you know and, and they do anything think to and they do anything to keep our people down in a in a lower state man. you know these uh these uh these international bankers who run this world uh I get this one the n k v the n k j v uh jeremiah twelve and nine my heritage is to me like a speckled vulture the vultures are the vultures all around her are against her right so these nations man you know they're like vultures and they they wanna eat up our flesh you know and they're eating up our flesh man you know taking our heritage everything you know our land our culture come assemble all the beasts of the field bring them to devour right so that's why when the lord come you know yahweh Shai, you know the lion you know the lion of the tribe of judah man he's gonna wreak all havoc man on you on you heathen all right this is nlt jeremiah 12 and 9 my chosen people are like a speckled vulture right so we're the speckled vultures right now we're the speckled ones you know his elect because the, the lord's only concerned about his elect and the one-third all right and uh you know because we're scattered through the whole entire uh earth my my chosen people are like a speckled vulture but they themselves are surrounded by vultures bring uh, bring on the wild animals to pick their corpse clean and that's what's gonna happen man when the yahweh shai you know the lion of the tribe of judah yahweh shai he's gonna he's gonna clean them up man you know You know, this is a very uh, good interview. I'm going to share this in the description box. Uh, you know. You know, uh, you know, he's in a lower state right now, but he he uh he's uh sure he still has he has money, but you know, he uh he goes and uh he uh feel he uh feeds the homeless and he uh he goes into the scriptures you know so um you know there's certain people who are gonna be saved man you know you're gonna see you know a lot of elect you're gonna see certain about uh, certain elect you know who's gonna be saved you know so uh we don't know who they are right but uh you know people like uh like floyd mayweather and stuff like he knows he's an israelite you know, you know, but uh, you know, you know, but these guys—they're not really gonna give up their their life to go. Um. Right now, we're at the end anyway, so it's like the Lord's gonna have mercy on whom will have mercy, you know, you know, and uh, he's a Reubenite, you know. I believe. Uh, you know, to read the sheet, you know, he's a Reubenite, you know, um, there's a lot of Reubenites, man, out here, you know, they're very dark, you know, and, uh, and these are things that, you know, like, they don't want the average Jake to, to know, you know, like, their heritage, right, so, um, you know, that's why it's a good thing to, uh, ask your uh your f father you know or your mother you know about your lineage you know through your father's side you know as to uh what stock you came from you know uh genesis 49 
Verse 3, Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power. Right? So our, our people, you know, they're very valor and mighty, you know, and uh, he's, he's the firstborn. That's why, uh, you know, Joseph, he was the, um, he was the last born, you know, and uh, basically, uh, you know, like Reuben was very, he was jealous of uh, Joseph because he was always getting uh, dreams, you know, visions. And uh, basically, uh, Reuben, he sold uh, Joseph into slavery, you know, but uh, it was all set up in the spirit, you know, and... Um, because you know, there's the famine in Egypt, you know, and, um, you know, and basically, uh, you know, Jacob and uh, the 12 patriarchs and, you know, their clan, you know, they came to uh, Egypt and, uh, you know, and uh, they saw their brother Joseph and they, and he, they, uh, pr you know, and they uh, prospered, you know. Um, because, you know, because Joseph had a high, uh, rank, you know, he, he had Pharaoh, then he had Joseph. So, um, uh, you know, we were, uh, in power for a while until, uh, that fell. And then we went to, uh, bondage under the, uh, Egyptians, under the Hamites, you know, unstable as waters, thou shalt not excel because thou wentest up into my father's bed. Then the father's thou it when he went up to my couch right, with uh you know with Jacob's concubine you know so you know like he still got a blessing but he didn't get the inheritance of the firstborn because Judah you know because Judah you know it was all set up in the spirit you know that you know that Judah was gonna get the birthright all right and uh, basically uh. That we come out of the waters of Judah, you know, till Shiloh come. Uh, Genesis 49 verse 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise, man. All right. So, uh, you know, so-called black man or, you know, Adam, you know, we come out of that line. You know, you know the firstborn of all creation, we come out of the father. You know, we come from Yahweh, you know, we come through Yahweh Shai. All right, the firstborn of all creatures, right? They had, they, it said, Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies, thy father children shall bow down to thee, right? So, yeah, so we're gonna be, uh, you know, because right now we're in the neck of their enemies, you know, right now, you know, like, um, you know, a lot of our people still have a lot of power, you know in this society here you know in america and um you know basically you know with the civil rights and all that with the whole black panther movement and all that but um you know ultimately like this prophecy you know is when you know when yahweh is gonna come and he's gonna um you know, take their dominion, man, and uh, so thy father's children shall bow down before thee, and that's where the time we're approaching. You know that you know that the Messiah, you know, like Yahweh, the Anointed One, is gonna come. Judah's aligned well from the prey, my son. Thou art gone up. He stooped down. He couched as a lion, and as a old lion, who shall rouse him up? Yeah, you know, like they have our, our our men, you know, wearing dresses, you know, effeminized, you know, they're uh, into the whole, uh, the whole, uh, the whole alphabet or uh, alternative life, you know, you know. So our people, you know, like you know, the two thirds of our people are feminine and are weak, you know. So. Uh, you know, like we give thanks, we give, we operate to Yahweh Bashim Yashai that he opened up our eyes, man, you know, and gave us this eye self, you know, to learn who we are, all right, because this was a gift, all right, because we could have been just like them, man. 
the scepter shall not depart from Judah nor a, a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come and unto him shall the gathering unto him shall all the gathering of the people be all right so we're waiting you know you know that you know that um that album with Buja Bantan you know till Shiloh come you know because uh you know these a lot of uh the benjamites you know and um you know the the caribs or uh, the Arawaks, you know you know we were uh you know but you no know, basically uh it says that it says that benjamin's gonna uh i'm gonna get that quick and then i'm gonna think until shiloh come You know, this was, uh, you know, that Bujur Bantan's, uh, you know, a classic, you know, this thing, uh, cause when I was in Jamaica, whatever, I was born, I was born in Canada, but I was in Jamaica, you know, when I was younger, back and forth, all right, um, as a young, young child, whatever, but, um, you know, I always hear that song, you know, like, you know, I'm um, like, I'm um, that murderer and certain songs and this whole album, man, you hear that, you know, it says, uh, till Shiloh, it's like, yeah. the skeptic shall not depart from Judah, nor the lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh and, and unto him shall the gathering of the people binding his fowls unto the vine and his ass is called unto the choices choice choice vine right and um, you know like this was a prophecy when the lord was you know like over two thousand years ago when the lord he went uh you know he went uh going to um that jerusalem you know with uh a vault or um a colt or a donkey you know to jerusalem so it shows you that he went in a lowly state all right he didn't exalt himself you know in a big uh horse and car uh carriage all right he went to a uh you know he went uh you know on a colt all right and it's already uh prophesied all right so uh, he had to fulfill that prophecy he washed his garment in wine and his blood in the blood of the grape because uh he was a, a a person who drank a lot of wine you know eat good and drink drink wine you know you know and wine is very good you know on um, that, that red wine very good his eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white like milk so he had that what he had some white some nice teeth man you know you know you know that you know that woman love it you know like the smile man you know um yeah i'm gonna get uh genesis 49 and 20 uh like verse 27 benjamin shall raven as a wolf in the morning shall he devour the prey all right so the benjamin you know with uh raven you know when you watch that um you watch this movie called Raven. What's it called? Or Rockers. I think it's called Rockers. The Rockers. Is it called Rockers? Yeah, the Rockers. Very good, you know. Because our people was uh, very uh, influencing our people was very uh you know like prominent you know in uh the music of reggae you know with uh the whole rastafari movement All right but uh that whole rastafari movement was uh set up by uh the prince all uh you know that basically um uh, you know with the whole go back to africa you know with uh you know marcus garvey and um basically with uh Highly Selassie or Selassie, 
you know, who uh, indoctrinate our people with that uh, that whole religion. All right, and uh, you know because uh, you know because um, you know because Celestia, he's not uh, he's not of the stock of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right, he's a Kushite. All right, so he, um, you know, but they would like to say that he slept with uh, Queen of Sheba or whatever. But um, you know, you no know, Queen of Sheba, she was uh, like she was uh, you know like she wasn't you know like she didn't have a uh, a damn. Um, that you know like she was a whore basically because you look at that word uh, queen let's get it yeah because a, a queen is just a whore basically man you call yourself queen it means you're a prostitute queen all right a queen, a queen, and uh, impudent, all right, you know, because we didn't call our woman queen, you know, that like we would call them uh, princess, all right, or Sarah, right, you know, when, uh, you know, after uh, Ab or, you know, uh, um, like Abraham, you know, he uh, surnamed uh, his wife Sarah, or Sarah, which means noble woman, all right, so, you know, like we don't deal with queens, you know. Queen basically is a prostitute, an impudent and ill-behaved girl, woman, <laughs> a prostitute, all right. All right, and um, you know, she had a lot of damn influence, man. So she was getting passed around from many moons ago. It says, Benjamin shall raven as a wolf, in the morning shall he devour the prey, and at the night shall he devour the spoil. All right, and um, as well as to uh, a lot of the slave revolts, a lot of the slave revolts in throughout Jamaica, you know, was orchestrated by the Maroons of Jamaica. You know, they were very, uh, they were very prominent in uh, the slave revolts. You know, and they would uh, do, uh, you know. All kind of guerrilla tactics and warfare, man. You know, and surprise the enemy. You know, this guy's uh, like Chief Curry and all that. You know, Nanny. You know, um, Tacky. There's, there, you know, like this is a very good one, too. This is, uh, I used to watch this movie. Um, with Oliver Samuel's um, front room, <laughs> whatever you know. This is there's a girl like um like this girl. What's her name? Pinky. You know she played. Um, I'm gonna put this one in the description too. Yeah. So with that, let us say our praise do unto Yahweh. Bashem Um The bars of the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole members of the elect. Hopefully, uh, this video is edifying. So with that, let the cell praise do unto you. How about Shimon Shashallah?